is Jamaica number one news now Jamaica news online TV first at six and here's what we're learning today man held by cops accused of trying to hide firearm under vehicle curfew imposed in trench town following flare up in crime six arrested in St. Elizabeth police operation man arrested after revolver almost seized on Oakland Drive and motorist killed in mandible crash <laughs> of officers assigned to the St. Andrew South Police Station seized a firearm and arrested one man in relation to the seizure during an operation on Oakland Drive in the parish on Saturday, December 2nd. Reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that about 1.45 a.m., lawmen were in the area when they saw the man walk in along the roadway. On seeing the police team, the man ran and threw an object under a motor vehicle. He was caught and the object retrieved. Upon closer examination of the object, it was revealed that it was one thirty-eight revolver containing 3.38 rounds of ammunition. The man was subsequently taken into custody. However, his identity is being withheld pending further investigations. Curfew imposed in Trenchtown following flare-up. A 48-hour curfew has been imposed in a section of the Jonestown and Admiraltown communities in Kingston 12. The curfew began at 6 p.m. on Friday, December 1, and will remain in effect until 6 p.m. on Sunday, December 3rd. The boundaries of the curfew are east along Slypen Road, onto Baker Street West, along Collie Smith Drive from 9th Street, onto Greenwich Park Road, onto the intersection of Linders Road North, along Linders Road from Greenwich Park Road, onto Slide Pen Road South, along Baker Street, onto Penn Street, to 9th Street, onto the intersection of 9th Street and Collie Smith Drive. During the hours of the curfew, all persons within its boundaries are required to remain within their premises for 48 hours unless otherwise authorized by the ground commander. Six arrested in St. Elizabeth police operation. Six persons suspected to be involved in criminal activities were arrested during a major police operation in St. Elizabeth on Wednesday. An illegal gun and more than 40 rounds of ammunition were seized during the operation conducted along the Holland Bamboo Main Road. Acting Superintendent Minot, head of the St. Elizabeth Police, told the news that a police team found the illegal items after it stopped a Toyota Axio motor car and searched the occupants and vehicle. At the end of this search, a Glock pistol, two magazines, 42 rounds of live ammunition were recovered during the operation, he said. Two occupants of the vehicle were taken into custody. Acting Superintendent Minot said the occupants of another vehicle traveling in the convoy are also being processed at this time. He added that the St. Elizabeth police are now on high alert for criminals invading the division after fleeing the state of emergency in St. James. The state of emergency carries with it operational activities at an increased level and during those times we'll always find persons moving across borders into what I consider the safer parishes. St. Elizabeth is not the parish. We have increased our border patrols. We have joined operations between our neighboring divisions, Westmoreland and Manchester, to ensure that we are holding our borders to prevent any kind of activities for persons that will want to escape the state of emergency to come to the parish of St. Elizabeth, he warned.
motorcyclist died in Manchester crash. A motorcyclist died as a result of injuries he sustained in a crash on Caledonia Road in Mandeville on Friday night. Police named the deceased as Charmario Thomas, 21, a resident of Comfort District in Manchester. A police report said about 11.20 p.m., Thomas was driving a motorcycle in the vicinity of Gulf View Drive when he attempted to overtake a motor car which was turning right. He collided with the vehicle and was flung from the motorcycle upon impact. Thomas was taken to the nearby Mandeville Regional Hospital where he died. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.